authentic and adapted songs in the class. Nowadays the ESA method is used all over the world to teach English. ESA is the first letters of the phases of an English language lesson. These three elements are, engage, study, and activate. The classic method only included study phase. It wasn't important to teach how to speak the foreign language in the past. However, it is a big issue now. It is hard to improve speaking skills in a country where English isn't the first language as the students aren't surrounded by English and don't have the opportunity to practice realistic situations. Authentic versus Adapted Although it isn't advised to use authentic materials for beginners, it is good to use them for the following levels. As they are real, they help the teachers to maintain interest throughout the lessons. Furthermore, students feel confident when they understand them. One of the most popular real materials is songs. How can we use songs in order to teach English? This question will be the main subject of this essay. Engage Music is universal. It connects cultures and people. That's why it makes songs a strong teaching tool. The other advantage is that anyone can reach them. Songs are available everywhere. The first thing to do while using music in a lesson is to select a song. This task is the most essential part. The song should be right according to the class level, age, culture, interest, and the teacher's aim. Music can mostly be used in activating part however I strongly believe that teachers can use the songs for the whole phases. To explain in detail. For example in the engage phase teacher can start with getting students just listen to the song and enjoy it. In this phase, the teacher shouldn't be so serious and correct all the faults. Asking questions about the title of the song can make students tend to start talking. Study After getting the students to start to talk and think in English, a teacher can start the study phase. While listening to the song again, the teacher can hand in the lyrics as a worksheet with gap filling or matching. After letting them try to do the exercises, the teacher can explain the new vocabulary. It can also give the teacher some opportunity to teach idioms, or take their attention to the grammar. At the last part of the study phase teacher can give the right answers to the questions. Activate for the activate phase the class can be divided into groups to discuss the subject of the song or to make a questionnaire about the subject of the song then share the results with the whole class. The teacher can end the lesson by singing the song all together so even the shy students can be activated. Also, the teacher can tell them to learn their favorite song and prepare to sing it in front of the class in the following lessons. If teachers advise students the websites such as lyrics training, students can go on practicing with songs at home. Song Suggestions Here is a list of songs and some idea to focus on a specific English lesson in order to highlight how we can use songs while teaching English. Bruno Mars, What is Trust? If Clause and Phrasal Verbs Pink, What is True Love? Present Simple Tense one Republic, why he can't sleep. Progressive tenses. Counting stars, which one is more important love or money. Passive voice. Beyonce, if I were a boy, if clause, vocabulary. Mika, relax, take it easy, present simple tense, vocabulary. Nursery rhymes list. Old McDonald. Wheels on the bus. Twinkle twinkle little star. Bingo. Baba Black Sheep. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. 12,345. Once I caught a fish alive. Hickory Dickory Dock. Humpty Dumpty. I'm a little teapot. If you're happy and you know it. Incy Wincy Spider. Five Little Ducks. Jack and Jill. Mary Had a Little Lamb. Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. The Hokey Pokey. Tin in the Bed. Rind Around the Raw Sea. Teddy Bear. Are you ready to teach English abroad? In my opinion, 
songs are a great way to take students' attention and boost their retention regardless of their age, nationality, culture, and language. Not only boosting interest but also the songs will improve the listening skills of the students. Moreover, they will lead to a good discussion in the class and help to teach new vocabulary and to practice grammar. As soon as the teacher chooses the appropriate song according to the level of the class, lyrics will be beneficial at teaching English. Music is the universal language of mankind. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an IDTT advisor today.